In this tutorial, I'll show you how to bypass the printer selection prompt when you submit a job. I'll also show you the updated status for terminated jobs. First, let's see how to bypass the printer selection prompt. Currently, the system prompts you to select a printer each time you submit a job through batch versions or a report interconnect from an interactive application. Tools release 926 provides you with an option to set the system to always use the default printer without generating a prompt. To bypass the printer selection prompt, access the system options application P0085 from the past path. In the user default revisions form, click user profile revisions. In the report submission column, select yes for always use default printer. Please note that before you select yes for always use default printer, you must define a default printer in the JD Edwards Enterprise One printer application P98616. Now, we'll submit a job. The system does not prompt for a printer selection. Instead, it uses the default printer defined in the printer application P98616. Now, let's see the new status of terminated jobs. Prior to this enhancement, any job that was terminated would move to the status E, that is error. This status was not sufficiently informative. With tools release 926, the status of a terminated job moves to T, that is terminated. The information about job termination is also added to the queue kernel server GD log. Please note that you can only terminate a job when it is in processing status. For illustrating the enhancement, we will use the job R42565. Let's terminate the job and update the detail area. You can see that the job moves to terminated status. Now, view the execution details. You can now see the user who terminated the job and the time when the job was terminated. You can even resubmit a job that has been terminated. Now, let's resubmit the terminated job. Define the appropriate host and queue to which you want to submit the job. The terminated job gets resubmitted. For more information on these enhancements, see the Report Printing Administration Guide and Administration Guide from Oracle Help Center. Thanks for watching.